Let's take a look at this graph. You can see that this graph is not quite a power function, but it has some similarities with even power functions, like x squared, x to the 4, and so on. So when you see some similarities, it might be beneficial to see what is so special about this graph. Take a look. We color coded it left side and right side, and you can see this graph actually mimics itself from left to right. So it's symmetric with respect to the y-axis. On the What that means is if x, y is a coordinate on the graph, then if you go directly to the left, which would be negative x, y, then that point is also on the graph. Such graphs are called symmetric graphs with respect to the y-axis, or we call such functions even functions. So even functions are functions that are symmetric with respect to the y-axis, or you can even think of it as mirror image, left-right mirror image across the y-axis, or to figure out algebraically, if x, y is a coordinate on the graph, then negative x, y is also on the graph. That means if you replace x with negative x, that the y coordinate does not change. It's still the same y coordinate. Let's look at another example. If I gave you a part of the graph and I told you that this graph here, the function, is even function, what do you think would be the other part of the graph? Pause the video and see if you can draw it in your notebook. So I've given you a part of the graph. What would be the entire graph if you knew that the graph was, or the function was, even function? Pause the video and see what you can do. Assuming you've come back, the rest of the graph would have to be this. So both together is the entire function, and you can see that makes the graph an even function. What do you think the concept of odd functions would be then? Can you come up with a definition? This is what being a mathematician is all about. So go ahead and mimic a function that you might consider being as odd function. It's possible that you may not be able to define it necessarily, but maybe you can draw it. So if, suppose I gave you this is a part of my graph. What do you think the rest of the graph looks like if I wanted it to call an odd function? Remember, you already know some odd power functions like x cubed, x to the fifth, cube root of x. See what characteristics those graphs had that you could create on this graph to make it an odd function. Go ahead, you can try. Very nicely done. Many of you saw that perhaps if you wanted this to be an odd function, you may have to add this piece to it. So symmetry with respect to the origin, that's what makes the graph an odd function. In other words, if you have an xy coordinate on the graph, then negative x, negative y is also on the graph. Let's take another example. So let's take a look at this graph. This graph is an odd function. Why is that? Because if you look at this graph and we color code it, you can see that if x, y is a coordinate on the graph, then negative x, negative y is also on the graph. So we call a function odd function if you replace x with negative x in the function and you get the y coordinate to be exactly opposite of the original y coordinate. If that happens for all x and y in the domain, then you have an odd function. So let's do a formal definition. We'll define even function to be a function where f of negative x equals f of x. Or in other words, the graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Or if you replace x with negative x, the y-coordinate remains exactly the same. We will call a function an odd function 
if and only if f of negative x equals negative f of x. That means that the function is symmetric with respect to the origin, or if x, y is a coordinate on the graph, then negative x, negative y is on the graph, which means that if you replace x with negative x, the y coordinates have different signs. That's what that means. Let's take a look at another kind of functions. Have you ever seen functions that look like that? In real life, I mean, somebody's heartbeat could look like that. Anything that repeats over and over again, daylight, how much electricity is used per household. There are lots of things that we keep on doing over and over again in the same manner, and we repeat it every so many days or every so many hours. That is called a periodic function. You can see here, this first function here is a periodic function, but it's also an odd function. This next function here is an even periodic function. You can also have periodic functions that are neither odd nor even. Do you think you could sketch a graph of a periodic function that is neither even nor odd? And then we'll make a formal definition. Go ahead, you try graphing a periodic function that's not even or odd. Here's an example of a periodic function. So it keeps repeating, but you can actually see that it's neither even nor odd. Not only that, this is called a damped harmonic motion. So sound waves, for example, can follow this pattern. And part of it is because sound can get disrupted and eventually die out. So you can see periodic functions have tremendous applications in real life. A cyclical or periodic function is a function that keeps on repeating its values with regular intervals. You have probably heard of the Doppler effect, which measures the shift in periodic functions. One application of that is astronomers use the Doppler effect to detect planets orbiting around stars. Sometimes when the star is far away, you can see the star, but you cannot see what is orbiting around the star. However, what astronomers do is that they measure the shift in electromagnetic spectrum. If a star has a planet orbiting around it, that planet will disrupt the electromagnetic spectrum of the star that they're observing. So there are lots of applications of periodic functions. 